Yeah, hello everyone, it's your girl new. I'm still kind of sick actually, my voice isn't even all there yet. I So I hope that you guys can still kind of understand what I'm saying. Um, but I decided to make this video because there's been way too many questions about how I have um, custom fonts set up for my Roblox. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I set it up. Um, this tutorial is only gonna be for PC users, so I'm very sorry mobile players. I don't know how to set this up on mobile. I don't play Roblox on mobile, but if I do figure it out, I'll make sure to make a video on it or share a link to a very useful video that I think might work. I don't know, but <clears throat> um, let's move on to the tutorial. So I'm gonna show you guys what my game looks like without Blockstrap. <laughs> so we can do a comparison later in the video. But here is what my game will look like without Blockstrap. So this is what my Roblox looks like without Blockstrap. Everything is the normal way. These are my textures and graphics without Blockstrap. I want you guys to remember this. It's not going to be a big change, but there is going to be some changes you'll notice once I go, um, once I, I install block straps. So remember the water, the grass, the trees, the lighting. Remember the lighting and the shading. This is without block strap. Font is all normal. No special font. Everything is just like this. Now let's go ahead and install Blockstrap. But in order to do that, first what you're gonna need to do is close your Roblox. Make sure your Roblox is completely closed. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and open Blockstrap's website on Opera and then we're gonna go there together. Oops. I'll show you everything, even from downloading it. So I'm just gonna go to blockstrap.org gonna press download and usually download the the latest version so version 2.8.5 just gonna install it oh look my old one was 2.8.1 so this is a new one 2.8.5 all right i'm gonna go ahead and open the block strap that we downloaded choose preferred language system default okay now we're gonna go ahead and install um Oh, look, they're already giving us the latest version, the newer one. I'm gonna go ahead and install that as well. Ah, I see. Gotta download the latest one. Always wanna be up to date. Oh, hold on. We gotta close this one first. Yes. Now we can open the new one. Okay. All right, now we're gonna press next. Choose a uh, place to install. You can either choose to have shortcuts on and off. I don't really care about that. And then, uh, now that it says it has been successfully installed, what we're gonna do is configure block strap settings. So here's the block strap settings. If you wanna configure the fonts so that you have custom fonts, you're gonna go to mods. And then you're gonna scroll all the way down and then here there is a miscellaneous to use custom font now before you can set this up what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the font that you really like online so maybe you go to the font to find a font you can go ahead and browse and scroll through this choose a font that you really like all right waffle cake looks cute but bubble garden kind of looks cute too whatever we're gonna use waffle cake so we're gonna press download and then it's gonna be done downloading and then there's gonna be multiple types of things but what you want is the waffle cake dot otf so you're gonna go to any like folder area you want i'll just go to documents because documents has like um uh, it's easier for me to find in documents i'm gonna drag the waffle cake here this is the font file 
Now you're going to go back to block strap and you're going to choose custom fonts. You're going to use choose font and then go to documents and then pick the font that you wanted earlier. So here's waffle cake open and now um, <clears throat> the font should be available here. And then what we're going to do next this is an extra optional step. You don't have to do this because if you just want the fonts, you can finish the video here. That's all you needed to know. But if you want to make your game look even prettier or better, we're going to go to engine settings. And we are going to turn all of this up to the highest level. Texture quality, we're going to choose level 3. Rendering mode, we're going to choose... Actually, you can just leave that alone. Um, preferred lighting technology. We're going to choose phase three. That's what I use. It's really, really pretty. Um, God, I think I forgot like the, the, I already forgot what my settings were last time. But anyways, um, I like to turn this on as well. You can choose if you want that or not. Font size. This is really important. If you're using a smaller font, I do recommend you upscale your font a little bit. Um, but that's pretty much it for the engine settings. This really like helps your game look even prettier. As for appearance, these are all like related to the block strap itself. So I I tend to like like for example like this bootstrapper is how your Roblox will look like when it launches. I like to choose the glass, like you preview this is the glass. And then for the icon, you can choose custom if you want to make it custom, or you can choose one of these. I like to make it custom. And then for the title, I'll go pixel obsession. This is what I had for my previous settings. I just liked it like that. It was kind of cute. And then for the picture, I would go to my art folder. And then I choose one of my arts that I did before. Where is it? Oh, it's choosing an icon file. Right. I had to like trans like I had to convert it to an icon file. So you're, what you're going to do is you're going to go online and you're going to choose PNG to dot I C O icon <clears throat> and then like convert that to an icon. That's how uh, you can set a custom icon. So this is how I did it for mine press save and then you can press preview and it looks like this it's really really cute make sure you save everything else as well and then once you're done you can just press close and then you're gonna have to go to roblox and hit play and when you do this if i'm not mistaken um block strap will launch you can tell it's working just based on this itself it will basically install Roblox through its own um, launcher, I believe. Not entirely sure how Blockstrap works, but it is really nice for upping the graphics a little uh, in most games and then <clears throat> setting custom fonts. As you can see the custom font fonts are already uh, settling in. It's really, really cute. Look at that wild for silence and like such bubbly way. This font is actually adorable. I didn't, I didn't think I'd like this font that much, but it looks really cute. <clears throat> it has that like sort of wobbly feel to it, <laughs> and I don't mind it at all. It's really, really cute. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cute and wobbly. That's really, really cute. What? So cute. I actually like this font. And that's what that's how you basically customize your fonts if you're on PC. I just use block strapper. And once again, let's have a look at the graphics. Do you see any changes? See any changes to the graphics? To me, it's like a mind, like it's subtle, but you can really feel the pleasantness of the graphics change. But yeah, that's basically how you do it. I hope this video was helpful um, and informational. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy customizing your fonts and making your game look a bit nicer. And that's it from me. I'm still sick, so. <laughs> uh, 
unsure yet when stream will happen but i think i can expect it to happen very soon um i do feel better in terms of able to do more things so i might still be able to stream unsure <laughs> unsure but i'll let you guys know um anything if you want to keep up to date with what i'm saying and what i'm doing make sure to follow and subscribe and hit the notification bell because i do tend to update stuff on my community tabs and normally you wouldn't know that unless you have notifications on so yeah i will see you guys in the next video this has been your girl new signing out bye bye